Hey guys, it's Dark Matter again, and today we've got a, a custom lightsaber for Neeland, whose birthday it is, or very close to it. Happy birthday. Um, this was commissioned uh, a couple months before your birthday, Neeland. Um, I'm recording this in the middle of October, but I'm going to sit on this video until it's time to be revealed. Uh, you probably have everything in front of you now. When you open it up, you'll get the saber. And the whole thing is etched. So this is all etched into the metal. So it's not just painted on. It's painted in. Um, and I've got some uh, Death Star light patterns below that. And then on the back is you, buddy. Got your name right there, hand painted back in in copper. Um, the Jedi logo up here, and Sith, all etched in. Uh, this is a <clears throat> KR Sabers flagship. The saber is. Um, I'll show you how to work it, how to work everything that came in this kit, including this stand. Um, so in your gift will include. Uh, battery charger. You can just plug this right into your into the wall into your you know phone charger or something. Uh, this will charge your batteries. Include that. Also included will be the Salon wrench. I'll show you how to use that here in a minute and where it goes. And you will find this. Let me move this out. Um, two batteries for your saber. Uh, <clears throat> these are 18650 sized batteries, however, um, only use these two batteries in your saber because a normal battery this size will not work. This is a, it's a special high drain battery specifically for lightsabers, so if you ever need one, another battery like these, let me know. Uh, but a normal battery this size, <clears throat> like I said, will not work. And your saber won't light up and you'll be like, ah, it's broke. It's not broken. Um, these are just extremely high discharge because these things take a lot of a lot of power. So <clears throat> you'll come with two batteries. One so you can have in the saber. One you can just keep in here or on the charger or whatever. They're identical. I'll take one out for now. And for your saber, it does have a, a light up connector, which you can't see. So there's little pins inside, little brass pins. Um, much like this. And they have a little bit of spring to them. See? They just compress just a little bit. Um, so when you put your blade in there, it's going to compress those just a little bit. You never want to jam your blade in there. Just enough to where you feel just a little bit of resistance and then you'll tighten. I'll show you how. <clears throat> These will light up when your saber is on, whether or not the blade's in, which is kind of cool. Um, but you definitely don't want to like be messing around inside here. It's, they're very deep in there. They're way down in here, but uh, <clears throat> we got brass switches. Right there, your speaker is located back here. Uh, to open up the saber, you just open it up at this joint right here. Just unscrew. Set that off to the side. And there's the chassis, your board, um, and your speaker. It's a very loud speaker. Uh, so this board, you don't ever have to do anything with it. And the little SD card, the little memory card, don't have to do anything with it. If you ever have any problems, or you ever wanna make any changes or anything like that, please come through me. I'll do it for free, just whatever. Just, you don't wanna mess with this at all. And you definitely don't wanna let it touch anything metal. That's why these are, these are 3D printed, these chassis. Um, here's a, 
your kill switch on and off. There's no battery, of course, right now, but so let's put the battery in. So you want to make sure that the positive of the battery, the button top, positive, goes towards the positive. I don't know if you can see that, but there's little positives right there and negatives. I kind of drew them in in Sharpie. You can see them right there. So you definitely want to make sure the battery is facing the right direction, but it just pops right in. And, that, and that's it. And, it, and they're easy to pop back out too. Just double check that you're putting it in the, the, the proper way. It's easy to just put one side in and then just snap it down. And that's it. Then you turn that to the red, which is on. And there we have it. Then you can take the rest of your, your handle here. It's just empty. You can see because it's all filled up with all this stuff just gently and when that when this is off uh, you have to be f fairly careful with this I mean this is plastic because it's non-conductive that's why we use printed parts like this um, you just want to be careful with it when it's exposed slide that on tighten it down all the way till you're lined back up with your switches and that's that um, now to operate your saber, uh, your left hand button over here is going to be power. It's going to have a couple of other functions too, but power, and this is your auxiliary switch. Um, so starting at the, the first bank of sounds now, a sound bank could be just a grouping of sounds that could follow a particular character, let's say. This first sound bank is Darth Vader, but another one could be Luke or Obi-Wan or, you know. And there's a whole bunch of sound banks on here, and we're going to go over that. Um, <clears throat> so while the saber is turned off, in order to play, each bank has a music track. So in order to play the music or the movie scene, you just hold the power button for a second or so or two, and then let go. Same thing to turn it off, just press and hold for a moment. Um, you can still use the saber while the music or the movie scene is playing, which is really cool. And to turn on your saber, just a quick tap of that button. Cool thing about the these flagship sabers is that they have these, underneath these, there's slots. So when it's lit up, you get a cool glow from underneath. Like that, it's cool. So it's, it's so loud, I can't talk over it. <clears throat> so while the saber's on, you know, just your your motion, every motion that you make, will will make a sound. Especially your rotating motions, not so much the side to side, but like anything where you're going like this, definitely will. <clears throat> while it's on and you tap this button, you'll like deflect like blaster bolts, you know, pew, pew, you know, deflecting the lasers back and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> if, if you press and hold that, you'll get a lock up like you're crossing saber blades with someone after a, after an impact oops come on and when you let go when you let go it will release the the lock up uh, also there are extra sounds while you're while the saber is on just like you started the music Remember you just held this down for a sec? Well, while it's on, you can do that as well and it'll unlock even more sounds. <laughs> so, 
some sound banks have more than others. Some have a character on it. Some have just a noise. There's a few that don't have any at all, but most do. Um, so in order to change to your next bank of sounds, you just tap the auxiliary button. The one true emperor. Now you're in a whole new bank of sounds, so there will be new music and new hum and new new everything. Uh, So I'll, I'll put a blade here uh, in in a sec and we'll, we'll, so you can actually see it in action. But there's a whole bunch of sound banks. You can cycle through them with this. It just goes all the way and then when it gets to the end, it'll just go back to the first one. Then solo. Uh, they're not all red blades, of course. do that right now and go back to the beginning are you a jedi kylo ren i claim this soul master yoda save this party's over there's a bunch kenobi hello there hello master jedi diagnostics lord vader Darth Vader, back to the beginning. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the blade in so we can actually talk about what's going on. <clears throat> so, your blade will have an end. There is no room in here for this. It looks like that. And that is the side that's gonna make contact with those pins on the inside. So just gently put your blade in. I can't see around the phone, okay, here we go until you feel it make contact down there. Don't have to push hard. Um, and now is when your your Allen wrench comes in handy and your, your blade retention is right there. It's on the other side of the saber from your switches. It's on the bottom. This one right here, don't need to touch it. This is the only screw that you need to even mess with. And when you tighten this, you don't have to over tighten it just enough, and that's it. I'm sorry about the really bright overhead light, but it's the best lighting that I've got down here. So, <clears throat> uh, when you're, most of these sound banks will have uh, a color changing option so while the saber's on, I'm gonna explain it while it's off because, okay, I can't do this. There we go. Um, while the saber's on, hold down the auxiliary button right here and just tap that one and you'll hear a little sound. And then you can roll the saber back and forth and you can select any color you want. And it'll stay that way until the board shuts off. So if you flip that little switch in the back you know, take a battery in and out, it'll reset itself back to what you, you know, the way it came, just like it is now. So that's handy. So I'll show you. So hold that. And press, I'm going to try to do it with one, one finger. That sound. Now you can roll it back and forth. And you can select any color you want. See? So let's select a nice purple. And then you just hit the power button again. And now it's locked in. And so now it will remember, when you turn it back on, it will remember where you were until the board restarts, like I said. And most of the most of the banks have that capability, but not all. There's a few blades that are specialty like the very next one. The one true emperor. 
So this is a fire blade, and so there's really no modifications to do to it, but it does look like fire. <laughs> I know you can't see that because of this terrible lighting, but in person you'll see. Then solo. So. <laughs> some of the banks will have different ignitions. There will be weird blade effects and stuff. They don't just come on and off. Some of them will stack up the blade. Some will be fire. Some will run backwards. Some of them look like a rainbow. Um, so don't be surprised when you're going through and you're like, wow, that's that's different. Um, Are you a Jedi? I am. Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian. Right? Um, and I think the the track on that one, I forgot the track from the other one, is uh, <clears throat> the Jabba the Hutt's escape from Jabba the Hutt. can use the saber while those are playing Kylo Ren so Kylo Ren gotta have an unstable kind of a crackly unstable blade from the new movies and you'll get like quotes from him and stuff and I'll show you the dark side see just press and hold the power just for a sec I'll show you there's more than that one. I'll show you oh my gosh. the dark side. The map to Skywalker. We know you found it. And now you're going to give it to the First Order. There's, in general, there's more than one quote, but they get picked randomly, so sometimes they repeat like that. I claim this sword, and my rightful place as leader. Death Watch. So this is a dark saber font. Uh, if you watch a lot of Star Wars, you've seen the dark saber in the Clone Wars and Rebels, and now the Mandalorian. <laughs> That's a good example of how the blade will stack up and down. Sometimes I just programmed it that way because it's kind of cool. You don't want every on and off to be the same. If you will not join me, you will all die. And don't forget your your track on each one. Good stuff. This is a really loud little saber. Master Yoda. Yeah, Yoda font. <laughs> Yoda doing some cool stuff. Well done, Commander. Bring me a ship. Save. Now, some of these, like this one, aren't a character. Uh, people do make sound fonts that aren't characters. They just come up with their own stuff, and it's cool. And so I'll put, you know, just some sort of style on the blade that I think was that you would like and that is cool. forget a lot of these you can change the color and play around with it that way so you're not always stuck in just one color this party's over that's cool when you this one when you start it a bolt of lightning comes down the blade 
and then the blade shoots out of it. It's hard to get the whole thing on there. That's pretty cool. Some of these are pretty different, but they're awesome. Kenobi. Kenobi! Darth Maul. It'll play that entire song too, it's pretty long. so many fonts on here. I, I packed this thing as full as I could. You can't really see it in the, the lighting here, but this is Ahsoka's sort of greenish yellow blade from the Clone Wars. What about that ship? That one's garbage! The garbage will do! This one I need to explain. This is a Millennium Falcon font. And so what's going to happen when you hit power is that the whole blade you're gonna watch and the whole blade will like jump you to light speed and when you move the blade or the saber around it'll sound like the Millennium Falcon flying around but directly in the center of the blade uh, it's like looking out the window so it'll everything will be coming from the center like you're flying through like hyperspace so I'll show you what that looks like I know it's impossible to see on the video, but in person it's really cool. Uh, rainbow fire. You can see it on the reflection down here. It's just the same fire effect from earlier, just all the colors, just a rainbow of fire. And why not? Because it's kind of cool, and you can show your friends. Jedi, prepare for death. These are the the droid guards of um, General Grievous, with those staffs, you know. This one is a, a rainbow effect, but it's not fire. It's just a straight rainbow. You should you should be able to see it here pretty well. The whole blade does that, and this one, uh, I, I made it say diagnostics. Diagnostics. That, you can't see it on here, let me show you. You'll see 
a light on your blade somewhere. This is the battery level. So right now, it's almost full. It's about right here. And as your battery goes down, it'll get closer and closer to the saber and change color towards yellow and then towards red. And then you know you want to swap it back in with the other one. Right now, it's green. It's hard to see on the camera, but it's green right now. Uh, when it gets down, you know, halfway or a little less, just pop in the other one, charge it, charge up the other one. And then when you hit this one more time, you'll be back at the first. No data. Right back to number one. And that's pretty much it. Um, I, I packed this thing. In fact, the, the board told me that it was 97% full. So it's full of sounds and different blade effects and all kind of good stuff for you. Um, and I'm gonna give you this cool stand. It's just made out of acrylic with a little piece of aluminum in there. To, so you can display your saber however you want. Although I'm gonna open it up right now and turn it off. Um, you don't have to open it up and turn off at the switch, but it will drain some battery. So if you want to leave it until tomorrow morning, it's probably fine. But if you want to leave it for a week or two, I would I would come in and just just turn it off just like that. And don't forget to check your positive and negative on the battery. So I got it labeled on both ends for you. I really hope that you enjoy this. Uh, that a lot of work goes into these, but it's really, really satisfying, especially when it's for, you know, a, a particular person. It's fun to make them, but it's more fun to make them personal. And you can see it's nice and grimy and weathered. There's some dirt in the cracks and stuff. Uh, it's clear coated, so it won't come off on your hands. Um, so you have to have a little bit of of cool weathering on there. Anyway, it's been too long of a video, so there you go, Neil, and happy birthday, buddy. Uh, and may the force be with you. And for everyone else, thanks for watching.